You know, we talk a lot about hormones and physical health, periods, pregnancy, menopause and that kind of stuff. But what about mental health? Because here's the thing. In women, hormones don't just change the body. They change the brain too. Every day of the month might look like the same from outside, like going through life in the same way. But inside, every day is completely different. Some are calm, some are anxious, and in some, you are just overwhelmed for no reason at all. And how many times have you heard someone say, "It's just hormones. It's just a phase." But no one tells you what it really means for your mind and how to handle it. You're just left to figure it out on your own. This video is for every woman who's ever felt that. Let's break it down. Hi, I'm Gayatri Arvind, founder of Abasa Rehab and Wellness. We offer residential rehabilitation for people struggling with addiction, mental health disorders, eating disorders, and chronic conditions. Over the past six years, we have helped over thousands of people reclaim their lives through personalized care. Through this channel, we share practical wisdom to empower your mental health. Your hormones control your mood, your energy, your sleep, and even how you handle stress. And for women, these shifts happen through five major phases: puberty, menstrual cycle, pregnancy, postpartum, and menopause. Each phase comes with its own emotional ride. Puberty gives mood swings and self-consciousness. Menstrual cycle showers anxiety, PMS, and dips in confidence. Pregnancy provides emotional sensitivity and joy mixed with fear. Postpartum gives hormonal crash, anxiety, and depression. Menopause lingers you with irritability, memory lapses, sleep issues, and emotional imbalance. People call these just mood issues, but the reality is these are all hormonal changes happening inside your brain and body. So, there are three key hormones that drive these changes. Number one, estrogen. Estrogen boosts your serotonin and dopamine, which are your mood and motivational chemicals. When estrogen is balanced, you feel light, calm, social, and energized. But when estrogen dips, you can feel low, fatigued, and even little depressed. But too much estrogen can also make you irritable, anxious, and overstimulated. It's like the thermostat of your emotions. If it goes too low or too high, your brain starts to react. Two, progesterone. Progesterone is your body's natural calming hormone. It increases GABA, the chemical that helps your brain feel relaxed and grounded. When progesterone dips low, you deal with anxiety, restlessness, and sleeping troubles. But when it is too much, you get sluggish, spaced out, and overly sleepy. Progesterone is your brain's gentle wind down mechanism. When it is off, everything feels out of sync. Three, cortisol. Unlike estrogen and progesterone, cortisol is not a reproductive hormone. It's your stress hormone. So when life overwhelms you, cortisol level increases. And the tricky part is, high cortisol can even suppress estrogen and progesterone. So stress doesn't just make you anxious. It disrupts your whole hormonal rhythm. and the cycle goes both ways like high cortisol increases hormonal imbalances and hormonal imbalances can keep cortisol levels high making you sensitive to stress which causes sleep problems mood swings brain fog and emotional burnout all right so what can you actually do to support your hormones and protect your mental health number 1 track your cycle track your periods your mood your energy and your patterns and observe am i more anxious before my period or am i confident after and over time it will become a map of your emotional rhythm number 2 journal your feelings write down everything whatever you feel like low energy today snapped at mom for some reason because this helps you see what's hormonal and what's situational as a result you will stop blaming yourself and start understanding yourself number 3 Move your body. Do whatever you like, but just move your body. Walk, dance, yoga, do anything because movement makes your brain release happy chemicals which lowers cortisol. Number 4. Eat to nourish your brain. Take your omega-3, magnesium and vitamin B and cut down on sugar and caffeine because these mess with your hormones. Number 5. Sleep like a baby. Deep sleep resets your brain, regulates hormones and refills your emotional tank. Number 6. practice emotional hygiene you need to create a space to feel your emotions express and release them remember 
expressing emotions isn't a weakness and finally ask for help if everything becomes overwhelming you don't have to handle it all alone get your hormone levels checked consult a doctor and take professional help always remember getting the support you need is the bravest thing to do see hormones are not your enemy they are messengers that tell you what your mind and body need when you understand how your cycle your chemistry and your emotions are connected you'll stop fighting your own body and start working with it and when that happens healing begins your body has wisdom and your mind deserves care when you honor both that's when a real balance start to happen with all that being said i want to add something very important every woman has to go through these hormonal ups and downs at some point it's a very natural process right so hormone should not be an excuse to put your life on pause or ignore your responsibilities the whole point of this knowledge is to understand this natural process and learn to navigate it with ease remember there's always a way to manage your health and other responsibilities in your life it's just about understanding your hormones and working with them